What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix series Biohacker Season 2. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screeners to this new season. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore this review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. The reason why I was a huge fan of the first season was mainly because Biohackers is essentially a revenge thriller. And it was a collision of two very strong, very formidable female characters. Mia was the crusader and Lawrence was the mad scientist. And each of them had a lot to lose, which made previous season one so gripping and addictive. This season two is kind of like Memento meets Born Identity. There's not much left to solve in terms of the science mystery. So it's now more about who wiped Mia's memory and who's actually behind all this conspiracy. You know what they say. Every boss has another boss that they answer to. So getting to that bottom line is at the heart of this follow-up adventure. I think this season 2 is just as clever and just as thrilling. And the performances are just as fierce. It doesn't show signs of slowing down. But I do have a few things that I'd like to point out. So stick around. Created by Christian Ditter, Biohackers is a drama thriller following medical student Mia Ackerlin who discovers the use of highly advanced biohacking technology in her university town. In season 2, after being abducted, Mia finds herself with no recollection of what happened since. But when she discovers a message she has written to her future self, she comes to understand that her life is in imminent danger if she doesn't solve the mystery of her disappearance. In order to do so, she has to team up with the woman she trusts the least, Professor Lawrence. I gotta say, the memory loss storyline is an interesting choice. I was thinking perhaps other ways or other direction that the writers could have gone in continuing Mia's story, but memory loss seems to be the one that could retain your curiosity and maintain this show's fast-paced energy, especially if the clock is ticking and the not remembering takes a toll on Mia which it does. And because of this, they kind of have to shuffle some of the characters around. A few of them don't have significant roles anymore because they get pushed into the back seat, which I'm sure would hurt your ego as an actor if the material given to you does not allow you to perform much, considering your character was pretty prominent last season. You know what really impresses me about Mia? She's like a natural born spy agent. She manipulates, she deceives, she uses people to get what she wants, but she's also flawed, so she has blind spots when executing covert op with her friends. These new episodes run by really quickly. You don't even have to press that Netflix fast forward speed button, and you're deeply invested in Mia's journey the whole time. Now, the only problem I have with season 2 is that even though I admire actor Thomas Kretschmann, who is a fantastic addition to the cast, I just feel that his character is so distant. I mean, with Lawrence, she's ever-present, so the threat and the danger were always looming over. But by the end of this season 2, the writers still keep Thomas Kretschmann's character's secrets and motivations close to their chest. Thus, we still end up not knowing or caring very little about him. So as stoked as I am to see Thomas be part of Biohackers, unfortunately there's a big missed opportunity regarding his character development. But hey, it's still an enjoyable new season with lots of crazy twists and turns that I'm not allowed to reveal here. Biohackers Season 2 is definitely only for the fans.